Okay, okay. See you later. fate of betrayal. Is Paulos and Venix have betrayed you? It's death. You must die for not cooperating with us. Then your son is next. Oh! <laughs> 
gentlemen, our first problem has been eliminated. Jackson is dead. And now only Black Dragon stands in our way. And I've sent Phoenix to take care of them. What about his son, Raymond? I'm sure he'll want to take revenge. Why don't we put the blame on Black Dragon and let them fight it out amongst themselves? Good thought. But I've already carried out that plan. In that case, we can just wait for the outcome. And your uncle will be proud of what you've done. There's more to it than just that. What do you mean? From now on, we are going to work for ourselves, not for the organization. That's really a big gamble. Don't be such a fool. This is our district, and nobody would dare enter it without my permission. Not even my uncle. That's true, Paolo. But I suggest we lay low for the time being, at least until the Black Dragon and the Scorpion have been destroyed. Fine. But tell all of our men to keep their eyes and ears open. Hello? Just a minute. It's Phoenix. That's all. Mm. Mm. Hello, Phoenix? Yeah, tell me what's on your mind. Good. Thanks, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Fine. Scorpio, he has nothing to do with your black dragons. Your Scorpio gang no longer exists. It is dead along with your father. Now we are controlling the territory. We do what we want. Bullshit! You think my father gave his life? And to this organization, just to be shot and lose it? I'm his son. I inherit the territory. You are dreaming. Paulo has already given us the order to take it. Go ahead and try and take it. You'll have it over my dead body. Okay, then. We can take care of that. by Paula. He wants us to kill each other. 
Who in their right mind would make a plan like that? You're lying, you bastard! I would only warn you once to let this man alone. Don't push him up. get you out of here. Uh, uh, save Scorpion. Don't give up. I can promise you that. I'll find out who murdered my father. Now go. You gotta forget your father. What do you mean? I can't let them get away with that. Palo will pay. No, don't. Hey. You trust me. I will bring the Scorpions back to days of power and glory. Well, boss, mission accomplished. Well done, Gordon. My pleasure. You know you're the best hitman in the organization. You've never missed a contract. Now, I trust you more than Paolo. But Paolo's your nephew. He's the head of your Far East Division. Is anything wrong? Yes, there is. Paolo has become too ambitious and too greedy. And he's betrayed the organization. And what do you want me to do? You know the rules. Traitors must die. But can't we find another way for Paolo? No. Rules are rules. For you, for me, and for Paolo. All right. Where is he now? That's the problem. We don't know exactly where he is. Either here or Japan. When do you want the contract carried out? Immediately. This is your contact. Her name is Lisa. done, Phoenix. But I must warn you, now that you've finished, you must take care. His son Raymond will be soon looking for his murderers. Don't worry. Wilson and the Black Dragon, they'll take care of his Scorpio business. That's a good plan. But if they find out we're behind this, we'll both be in trouble. They won't find out. Excellent. Once Scorpio and Green Dragon are destroyed, you and I will control everything. My uncle will be unaware of our plot. Hmm. Anything on Jackson's son? Not since that night. I saved him at the dark yard. It's been over three months now. I can't figure out where he's gone. He knows he's the only man who should be leader of the Scorpios. It's wrong that Phoenix should lead the gang. She said the order came from Paula, but I don't know if I believe that or not. That's what Frank said. He's one of Paula's men. I can't figure it out. Why'd the boss send Paula? The kid is a cheating, greedy son of a bitch. He doesn't know how to run this kind of an organization. I think we should tell all this to the boss. What do you think? Mm, we can't do that. It couldn't make it any worse. Our rules. They say we must give respect and support to Paul as our leader. Oh, I understand. 
since the death of Jackson and his gang, our business has been getting much better. I boss, Miss Apollo Lyster Efford. You can go back and tell him. I shall do my best job for him. Is that all? And I won't forget his gift. <laughs> Edelson, you're a clever man. You could be promoted. Possibly to take over all of Scorpio business. Yeah. <laughs> and share my success. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Master. Don't fool around. Hey, I'm not. You know what people call me? The fast play bow. <laughs> you know, I've heard that name before, and it really is a marvelous name. See, that's what Polo likes. <laughs> 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 Where's Fast Blade? My master, my master, oh, I will be loyal to you. Oh, oh please forgive me. <laughs> what are you saying? Raymond's back? He beat up Bull. All alone? Bull said he's better than his father. What did he say? Nothing. He just beat up Bull and left. Listen, you two. Tell the men they had better keep their eyes open. Jackson's son has come back to our territory. And he's set on revenge for his father. That is good news. Give me a report on him daily. Yes, boss. Yes? The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as a gentle rain from heaven. You must be Gordon. Come in. Thank you, Lisa. Would you like something to drink? Beer, thank you. Let me help you. Thank you. Do you have any information on Paulo for me? Paulo and Phoenix are working together now. Their plan is to take you the Black Dragon Scorpio clan. How many men are guarding Paulo? Three. Their names are Jeffrey, Frank, and Peter. Good. I want to know when and where I can find each one of them alone. I'll take care of it. How can I contact you? Very easy. I'm staying here. <laughs> Is this your own idea? I'll tell you later. Did you know Jackson's son is back? Yes, that's the reason I came to see you. He's back for vengeance. And to rebuild Scorpio. Are you afraid he'll get back what he lost? <laughs> I think you should be afraid. No. Scorpio come back still won't affect my territory. But you're assigned to Scorpio's business, so he will come to you. I need help. I'll split. 60-40 sound attractive? I don't understand why you want my help. Mr. Apollo can give you all the help you need. Because I'm looking for a man with a reputation. Like you, think about it. Give me a call. Sounds like we're alike. Do you have time right now? 
We can talk about it. Jackson son. <laughs> Good, you know. Now, uh, just treat me the way you would my father, okay? <clears throat> okay. Only if you're as smart as he is. Ha. Okay, on with the party. Just like Dad told me. Very nice here. You're here for something. What? Don't ruin it now. We should be enjoying ourselves, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Your father would be ashamed. Go ahead and make jokes. You can laugh at me all you want to here, huh? But don't insult my father again. Well, I thought you'd be as tough as your father. <laughs> How do you know I'm not? Shouldn't judge someone by his looks, you know. Hmm. Huh? Here's some pocket money. I don't believe it. Who do you think I am? The show is over. I'm so disappointed to see my best friend's only son become nothing but a cheap playboy. A worthless pimp. That's a generation gap. I thought you had come back for revenge. What about your father? Thanks for your generosity, sir, but no thanks. Ma'am, the man sitting next to you is too old for you, but... Anyway, don't waste all that nice food, huh? Is that Joker really the heir of the Scorpio gang? 
a gangster? Don't say that. Mr. Wilson says I'm only a playboy. Now, you got that? <laughs> men. Everyone has enemies, you know. I think it's Raymond. I don't think so. He hasn't got the guts. I met him last night, and he's nothing but a playboy. Who wants to see me? Did Mr. Wilson think his insult last night was not enough? It's not Wilson. It's a friend of his. A friend. I don't know any of his friends yet. But if they don't insult my father, I don't mind. Name the time. Why did we come early? I want to see him as soon as possible. I don't believe what Mr. Wilson told me. Ah! What a nice day. It's such a nice garden, too. Gosh, it's a beautiful day. You wanted to see me? Hmm. Huh. Uncle Bill! Uh, it's you! Raymond! <laughs> Gosh, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> if it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Forget it. I just held my good friend, son. Uncle, you look older since last I saw you. I ask you here to find out why you've come back. Actually, no reason. Scorpio's in the hands of Phoenix. There's nothing I can do. Don't you want to avenge your father's death? Yes, of course. But I'm only one man. What can I do? I can help you if you're willing. Even at the cost of my life. I can get Wilson to help you, too. Well, let's talk about it another time. Step now, let's go to a nice restaurant, get something to eat. Good idea. Let's go to Wilson's place. No. I won't deal with Wilson anymore. Forget what happened. Now, let's go. Thank you. 
tell you. I'm sorry. Do I know you? You did. So this is it? Yeah. Oh, hello, come in, come in. Anything I can interest you gentlemen in? Mm, what's the specialty? Well, have a look around. We got everything you want. Okay. Nice. Wow, look at that fish. That looks very nice there. <laughs> well, of course it looks very nice, gentlemen. Freshest fish in town. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> it's as still as a rock. I don't think it has any trouble staying inside of that tank, do you, Bob? Of course he knows his feet. Perhaps. Or perhaps he knows uh, the possible fate of the boss here. You don't hear it or fool around? I don't know. Depends on his cooperation with us. I'm Mr. Wilson's representative here, you know. Everything in this territory. You, you know this is Scorpion's territory? You get out of here before I turn you into fish fingers. How can you treat a guest of yours like this? Oh, my head. Back here. Oh. That was a nice effect. Oh. Here's that. Look around. Barmaid, uh, tell her this is my place now. Uh, sure. And she doesn't work here. Get her out of here, huh? Uh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> uh. Huh? Oh, it's about time. Oh, go fix me some special food. I haven't eaten yet here. Come on. You stay right here. Of course I will. I need some food. Stand up. Hey. This is where I fix to you, fatso. <laughs> Where's your bravery now, huh? Get up. Get your hands up. Now you better start talking, fatso. Take it easy. Just calm down. Hey, Tony. Huh? Huh? Shit! Shit! Boss, I'm back. Hey, boss! Huh? Where'd he go? Hmm. Get your hands up! Hey, hey, don't shoot! You better take me to your boss, or I'll shoot you full of lead. Uh, okay. Okay, take it easy. Uh. Hey, boss. Come in. The door's unlocked. Take it easy. Uh, it's you again. Well, can't you see I'm eating? Why don't you two have a seat? Turn up or you're dead. Uh, didn't your mother teach you any manners? I told you I'm eating here. Okay. You can eat before you die, but hurry. Hurry up! Ah, what a nice meal. Enough! Can't have 
have a cigarette before I die? Okay, quickly. Damn, no matches. Ah. One, two. I don't believe it. Oh, this guy is invincible. Please, I want to work for you. Good. This is Jeffrey. Every morning he practices martial arts in Green Park. This is Frank. Every morning he takes his breakfast in the Ritz coffee shop. And that last one is Peter. He's a real sex maniac. He's usually hanging around the Moon Motel. Well done, Lisa. What about Paula? It's strange, but I keep losing him. He's clever. But I'll force him to come out once I've eliminated his guards. Keep an eye on him. All right. This way, please. tonight except Mr. Wilson. Hey, how come? Am I so bad? You are very impolite. Don't think that I've come here because I think that you're pretty. I just have a question. You know I'm Mr. Wilson's. What makes you think I would tell you anything important? Huh. If you answer me, I'll give you a present. There is no way I'll take anything from you. I know that my father used to come here often. Here, go buy some information. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> I think you're the first woman I've ever met with this much style. You're really quite funny, you know. That's the trouble. This is business between gangsters. And if I tell you anything, it means I know too much. If you won't help, just say so. Don't make any excuses. No, hold it. Uh, I just wanted to test you. Now I know you're not a playboy. So you will help me then, Jenny. It's a promise, Anybody then. here? Where's Jenny? But, but she's with a guest right now. I'll give her 10 seconds and then I'll wreck this place. Got it? What do you think this is? It's a whorehouse, of do course. Do not use that language here. This place is not welcome for people like you. Oh, the whore is now promoted to a lady. Would you please get out of here? How dare you talk to me that way, old lady? You slut. I don't think so. Raymond? It's been a while. You're back. I've come back to teach you greedy bastards a lesson or two and get back that business that I lost. <laughs> Your father's era is gone. Now I have his business. You've ruined all my father ever worked for. Now Scorpio's trash. Let's decide that right now. Not here. Come on. 
Hey! Hold on. Don't try to act like a gentleman. Forget to stay. You will pay. Stop. Stay with me for a while. Ninja 2. Jeffrey. Frank, I want you to put word on the street that we're offering a reward of 10 grand for information on the murder. Got it. From the MO of the assassin, he must be a ninja, a real professional, because of the wounds we found on Jeffrey's body. Hmm, is that so? Hmm, I wonder if my uncle sent him. Listen, call in all our informants and find out if they know anything. Okay. All right. Hey, one more thing. Take care. Jeffrey is dead. Paolo asked me to find out about the murder. We've got to find this bastard. Get every one of your men on it. 
There are only two possibilities. One is the big boss. The other, either Anders or Wilson. I think it's time to get rid of them. The longer they're around, the more danger. Somehow, I've got it. Hey, boss, Mr. Wilson caught you. Ah, where's Ricky? Uh, to see Uncle Bill. Um, you watch here. I'll take a nap. Oh. Hmm. Hey, did you hear about Jeffrey's death? Huh? <laughs> They're looking everywhere for the killer. Huh? What? Paolo's bodyguard? Well, he was pretty good. But I um, humbly think you're much better. Huh. Thanks, but... Uh... You better keep that quiet. The walls have ears. Uh, of course, but Paul's men never came here. That depends. Looks like you like it here. If I like this place, mm. then you're a better bodyguard than Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. I want to talk to Raymond. Ah. Here I am. Well, I'm from Phoenix. Oh, the most beautiful lady gangster. She thinks a lot of you and would like very much to meet you. to see me. What's up then, huh? Hmm. They say you're handsome, like your father. Hmm? Ah, I'm not interested in older women. I know who killed your father. Oh, hmm. really? Yeah, it's Wilson. Why did he do it then? For power. I don't understand why you've helped me. But I'll pay you back with all his territories. <laughs> mm
Wilson. If you've got any business to talk to me about, you're going to have to wait until my office hours. This isn't business. It's about a private matter between you and my father before he died. <laughs> your father. You're going to have to wait before you can find out anything about him. Now, excuse me, I'm busy. minutes in the car and I got rid of Wilson. Anders is next. What do you think? Use the same plan? Of course we won't. He's different. Anders is such a greedy bastard. We'll use him in the future to get rid of Raymond. Hmm. Sign here and you're free. You can go anytime. Go ahead. What? Mr. Wilson did not die? Uh, he was only wounded. He said it was an accident. Why would Wilson want to try and help a man who wanted to kill him? You were wrong about Wilson. I trust him. He didn't murder your father. He's merely tried to maintain his split with Phoenix and Anders as your father ordered, but he failed. Is that true? I don't believe it. If that were the case, they would have given me my territory. He told me the reason was you were too green to compete with the others. If he gave you the business, they would destroy you. You should think about that. find out anything on this ninja assassin? Nothing concrete. But a woman named Lisa is trying to find your whereabouts. I don't care who she is. Just find her. Force her to tell us where we can find this son of a bitch. Right. here to say that I'm sorry. I came because there's one thing that still puzzles me. People tell me that you are the murderer, and yet you help me. Why are you such a fool? Don't preach and don't make excuses. I knew you wouldn't return my territory. It's worth much too much to you, you... <laughs> Come on, hit me! See? I didn't really think that you'd have enough guts to... I remember your father. 
He, Bill, and I fought in the street for wealth and power. But now I've quit and my ideals have changed. Go and ask Uncle Bill. Money means nothing. I just want to preserve some of the good old days. Raymond knows you frame Wilson, but he left. He won't forget his father. He'll be back again sometime soon. One more thing. If we want Wilson, we must first get Bill. I hope you're right. Go and make an appointment then at the Holiday Inn tonight. Get him. Don't you come closer? I didn't expect you dressed like this. If it's about business, we can talk at the bar downstairs. If not, I have to go. Hmm. I always say to myself, the only thing Wilson has that I don't is capable assistance like you. Hey, what do you want? Don't be dumb. When a woman touches you like this, what do you think she wants?
What's wrong? I don't know. Boss just said take you to the museum. He'll meet us there. Hmm. Let's go. Me. You don't need to blame Johnny. All men are alike. They're all looking for the same things. Money, power, and women. You know, I owe it all to Johnny. What do you want? Don't you know? No, tell me. Bastard! If it weren't for you, my plan for power would be a perfect success. So it's you who told Raymond that Wilson killed its father. Then naturally you're the murderer, you bitch. Stop. You think I'd let you go and tell Wilson that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what the cost is. Just bring the murderers here to me. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
<laughs> Excuse me. What's the matter? Mustard. I'm looking all over for you. What's that? his organization for greed. Raymond, don't believe rumors! Monthly. You shouldn't borrow. But when you borrowed from Raymond, he, he said it was 15% yearly. Why have you raised it? Master Raymond is no longer in business. I don't believe it. Take a look. What's that? Here's a receipt. You borrowed 20000 six months ago with interest. This is the amount. Now pay it in one week, or you will regret it. for this affair. Now you two go home. I'm here. Don't you worry now. I'll handle this. Hmm. Quite a good month. I got a call from Paulo. He wants some money in his account. By tomorrow, as soon as we do the numbers. You all listen to me. From now on, we don't listen to Paulo anymore. Someone's been sent to kill him. And isn't that convenient? <laughs> What do you want? Justice. Son of a... <laughs> Thought you'd left gang life. How come you're back? Because I know who killed my father. <sighs> so you know it's Anders. Cut the bullshit. You and Paolo are the masterminds. Put that book down. You and I need to cooperate. If I say no, then you pull the trigger. <laughs> and we'll both be buried together. <laughs> I'm sending this account book to the police and to your boss. They'll both be very interested. Shoot me. Just leave that book, and I'll give you what your father owns. Stop talking! <sighs> Wait a second. Think about Paolo. I can help you. We can take over this organization. 
And then what? A betrayal by an old woman like you. <laughs> Don't you stand there. Get the book back. No need. If we can kill him, then it's like nothing happened. We need a plan. We could use Tony and Jenny. Let's get going. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy today, more than my whole life. I can't forget the look on Phoenix's face when I grabbed the book and showed her the grenades there. I'm happy today because now I understand. The worst thing in the world is not death, but to live with the fear of punishment of the organization. Fear. It's a gangster's life. My friends, Tony and Ricky, I hope you can understand that. Hope that our kids, I hope they don't have to live with the same, the same kind of fear. Yes, yes boss. boss. <laughs> now let's celebrate, huh? Come on. Cheers. Hello? Who is it? It's Gordon. And you know why I'm calling. Take it easy, Gordon. Can't we talk about this? It's too late. It's your turn to die. I'll make you my partner. We'll share the profits. Honor is more important than money. You're a fool. You're the one who's gonna die. We can settle this as ninjas. Tomorrow, afternoon at Skull Valley. I'll be there. Are you coming here without permission? Didn't you ask me to come? The headsman? I didn't know you'd arrived. Let's talk business. Who do you want me to kill this time? I'm gonna miss here. Boss wants me to leave, but I'm gonna stay. Don't be stupid. It's the only way to get out of gangster business. Besides, we promised. Just kidding. I'm not that crazy. Uh, I'm sorry we're close today. I'm the one they call the headsman. Where's Raymond? Huh? You're the headman? Well, let me tell you something, pal. You better keep away from my bus, you hear? Where is your master, you son of a bitch? Talk if you want to live. Ah, uh, no coward. I'll die before I tell you. Kill me, ambassador! <laughs> <laughs>
at Jackson's grave, headsman. <laughs> It's your fate, Raymond. I'm here to kill you. What has happened to you? Why have you changed so much? Don't you remember that night at the dock? That was a very long time ago. Things have changed. I don't have to take sides anymore. I just do my job and get my pay. This is the blade I used on your friends. I intended to use it for you, too. But to repay you for saving me on the dock, I won't use it this time. Headsman, either you or I will die here today. That's what I'm here for, Raymond. So let's find out who... <laughs> forgiveness. I was the one hired to kill your father. Listen to me. Ah! Get out now. It's a power struggle. Your father was killed for his territory and you will be too. Is being hunted right now by the big boss. He is killing off the organization. And if you're here, he'll kill you too. Go far away. Get out now. Run.
come on, Gordon. If we join together, we can control this entire district. You know what happens when you betray the organization. Don't be a fool. Why should we share the money with the organization? It's not a question of money. It's honor. I keep my word. Your word? Huh. Money is the only honor I need to know. I believe in loyalty. You'll see. When the organization has had enough of you, you'll be finished. Decide. Will you come back with me to the organization? No. Then there is no other choice. Thank <laughs> you.